Hey guys, this month's character trait is tolerance. And so we will be listening to another Peace Beast story. Um, this one is actually specifically about compassion. There wasn't a tolerance in the series, but compassion and tolerance really do go hand in hand. When we have compassion or concern or care for other people, then we can learn to tolerate other people. And that means tolerance is learning that, you know what, we might be different and we might not always agree, but we can still accept each other because we're human beings and still be kind to one another. And so that's what we'll be hearing today in The New Kid on the Block by Lenine Faith, illustrated by David Campbell. All this week, I kept seeing people moving in and out of the house next door. I knew our other neighbors moved away, but I had no idea who was moving in. Yesterday at school, Miss Nini told us that we would have a new student in our class. She told us that she moved from China. I was really happy to meet a new friend. There seems to be new people everywhere. <clears throat> when I arrived at school, Miss Nini announced, boys and girls, I want everyone to say hello to Song Chi. She just moved from China. Let's welcome her to our class. Instead of saying hello, the whole class started snickering. Everyone was laughing at her name. I felt so bad for Song Chi. She looked like she wanted to cry. Let's show Song Chi what a nice class we can be, Miss Nini said. Beep, 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 sounded heart watch. Peace be, we have to help Song Chi feel welcomed. Your classmates weren't friendly at all. I agree, heart watch. I think I know a great way to make her feel like part of the class. Okay, Peace Bee, give me a buzz if you need any help. I decided that I was going to be friends with Song Chi. I chose her to be my partner during music class. We found out we had a lot in, in common. I also ate lunch with her. We were having a really good time. After lunch, we always go outside for recess. Today, we were going to play kickball. I'm the best kickball player in our class. I was the captain, and so was Elisa. Miss Nini said that I could choose first, so I chose Song Chi. Once the teams were chosen, we started to play. After I kicked the ball, it was Song Chi's turn. She kicked the ball so far. Everyone was astonished. Her amazing kick caused our team to score two points. When we were out on the field, Song Chi caught the ball like five times. She ran really fast to throw the ball to our teammates. She was unstoppable. It was like she was a kickball playing machine. Most importantly, she looked like she was having a lot of fun. Of course we won, since we had Song Chi on our team. Everyone clapped for Song Chi, and she looked extremely happy now. Boys and girls, you all did a great job today. Let's give a special hand to Song Chi for playing so well. I just want to remind everyone that we all have something great to offer, no matter how different we are, Miss Nini said. I was so thrilled with how everything turned out. I'm also glad I met a new friend, even if it means I won't be the best kickball player in Miss Nini's class anymore. Beep, 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 went heart watch. Peace be. I'm very proud of you. You definitely displayed compassion towards Song Chi, Heartwatch exclaimed. What does compassion mean? I questioned. Compassion means to care for others. And if they're feeling sad, you try to make them feel better. You did a fantastic job, Heartwatch stated. When my dad picked me up from school, I was telling him what an awesome day I had. 
Once we arrived home, I couldn't believe my eyes. Song Chan and her family were our new neighbors. I'm glad I already made friends with the new kid on the block. Maybe she can teach me some of her cool kickball moves since we live so close to each other. Reminder from Heartwatch. Everyone has differences, that is guaranteed. But being compassionate to others is up to you and me. You shouldn't laugh when someone is different from you because you wouldn't want others to laugh at you. We are all good at something, no matter how different we are. So be compassionate and then you'll go very far. Learn to care for and appreciate everyone around you. Be compassionate to others at home and in school too. The end. And so again, when we're talking about compassion, we're also talking about tolerance. And everybody's going to be different. And so we just have to learn that we can still appreciate one another's differences and we can still be kind and loving and have things in common and have a great time. And so that's what I love about these stories. And with that, I say goodbye. Have a great day today, guys. I love you. I miss you. I wish I could be reading this to you in your houses, but I can't. So I hope you enjoyed it and you'll hear from me soon. Bye.